when we have used Lapital's rule, we have to have 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. In this case, we have pi over 2 minus pi over 2, so we have 0. And tangent, when x approaches pi over 2, going to infinity. So we have times infinity. So we cannot use Lapital's rule now. We have to rewrite this function because tangent of x going to infinity, we can rewrite this. This is limit. As x approaches pi over 2, and I will put in numerator pi over 2 minus x, and in denominator I will put 1 over tangent of x, because tangent going to infinity, to, so 1 over infinity give us 0. So now we have 0 over 0. It means we have indeterminate form and we can use Lapital's rule. The limit as x approaches pi over 2 will be equal to derivative of function which is in numerator and derivative of function which is in denominator. Because here I have 1 over tangent of x, I can rewrite this. Let me put this one more time. This is tangent of x to power negative 1. And numerator I will copy one more time. This is minus x. So this is equal. Limit as x approaches pi over 2. And now will be very easy to find the derivative of function which is in denominator. Because we have only used power rule. So we have to take down negative 1. And we have tangent of x to power negative 1 minus 1 times derivative of tangent is secant square of x. I just use rule when we have derivative of u to power n with respect to x. This is equal u to power n minus 1 times derivative of u with respect to to x. So now we have to find derivative of numerator. Derivative of pi over 2 is 0. The derivative of negative x is negative 1. So this is equal. We have limit as x approaches pi over 2 and we have negative and negative so we can reduce this sign. So we have 1 over tangent of x to power negative 2 times secant square of, this, of x. This is equal limit as x approaches pi over 2 because we have negative exponent so it means we can take this tangent to numerator so we will have 1 times tangent of x square over secant of x square. So this is equal limit as x approaches pi over 2 tangent is sine over cosine. So we have sine of x over cosine of x because we have square so I can put sine square over cosine square. And secant is 1 over cosine of x. And we have square, so it will be cosine square. So this is equal. We have limit. As x approaches pi over 2. And because we have division here, so we can copy first numerator, we have sine square of x over cosine square of x times we will have cosine square of x over 1. So now we can reduce cosine square and we have limit as x approaches pi over 2 of sine square of x. When x approaches pi over 2, 
sine of pi over 2 is equal 1. 1 square is 1. So this is my solution.